Hello everybody, today I would like to present to you a grasshopper definition or script that I have created to assist some folks in presenting their fabric pattern designs. Okay, you can download this script from the link that is below this video. Okay, however, in order to use this script, you need to have the paneling tools uh, plugged in installed. Okay, if you do not have the paneling tools, plug in you can uh, do the installation by going to the command prompt and type test package manager okay and fetch the program online okay it might take a while okay for the software to fetch the packages online Okay, so from the list of uh, plugins, you can scroll to panning tools and click download and install. Okay, as I've already installed this program, I'm not going to do an installation again, so I'm going to click the cancel. Okay, okay now I want to show you um, how to use uh, this uh, script. Okay, to use this uh, script, you need to input uh, certain parameters namely in the area of the fabric surface area and the pattern objects and its as corresponding parameters okay okay in the fabric surface area I have already embedded a surface into it okay but if you desire to use your own surface for the propagation of the pattern you can do so by simply uh, right clicking over the node and click the clear values okay then followed by right clicking it again and uh, set one b rep and select the surf the surface that you want to use okay yep The other area that you need to input is uh, the pattern object. Okay, so now I want to uh, do a demo to make you understand how to use it better. Okay, so to select a pattern object, you simply hover over this node, do a right mouse click. Okay, go to set one geometry and select the object. Okay, this is the pattern object that I want. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the pattern object has been uh, propagated onto the surface. Okay. You can play with the value inputs here to to tweak the look and the proportion of the pattern. Okay. So for example, let's say I want to make this uh, bigger. Okay, right now the approximate uh, width and the approximate length is uh, 7 and 7 respectively. So I can change this value by clicking on this and maybe I change it to 11. Okay, I want to do the same for the other side. Okay. And wait for the software to update itself okay okay now um, this length here and here is uh, both are uh, approximately uh, reset to 11 okay so okay now I want to show you how to actually change the height here okay to change the height you can go to the this uh, this slider here and change its value, existing value. So maybe I'll make it a bit thinner. So I change to one point four, let's say. Okay. As you can see, the height has been changed. Okay. Okay. You can also uh rotate the the pattern. Okay, to do that, like you can go to the rotation 
and from the option drop down option select the desired rotation so i want to let's say uh do a 45 degree rotation so i click on this and wait for the software to recalculate the new result okay as you can see the pattern has been rotated 45 degrees and now you can see that the the look of it is uh significantly different okay what if uh, you want to have more overlap over here these areas okay right now it's like there isn't uh, any overlap so you can do that by playing with the resizing value so i want to make this a slightly bigger so let's say 1.1 okay yeah you can see that uh the individual patterns has been resized and they are overlapping in these uh, areas here okay okay the the kind of uh pattern object that we have created are uh, joint ones that means uh, they are in our design intention they are actually all merged okay however this script is also able to create uh, patterns they are not really merged but uh, in interlocking okay so um, now i want to do a demonstration of that okay before that uh, let me reset some of the values okay so this one i'm going to set it to one okay this one I reset it to zero okay now i want to clear the existing pattern so go to the select pattern object clear value okay okay over here i've created another design okay it's one with uh, some interlocking uh, features are uh, designed into it okay so i'm going to use this uh, as my new pattern object so uh, go to select pattern object right mouse click set one geometry and select this object as the new pattern object and let it uh, propagate onto the, the surface again okay we can see now that the pattern has been uh, propagated okay but there's a problem here the interlocking mechanism are not working okay they are not uh, <clears throat> interlocking so we can um, solve this problem by clicking on the clicking and tweaking the resizing value so we want to have more overlap here so let's just change this value let's say to one uh one okay one one point one okay okay as you can see the individual patterns has been resized to present a more realistic interlocking uh, simulation okay you can see the interlock uh, they look more reasonable now okay okay assuming that we are happy with this result okay we can proceed to do the baking okay the baking is the process of uh, creating actual rhino objects are uh, from the grasshopper ones okay so to do that right go to the morph 3d node uh, right mouse click over its main body and click bake okay this will create rhino objects from the grasshopper counterparts okay yeah you can see now we have um baked these are uh, result into uh, grasshopper objects okay let's do a rendered view display okay you can see now yeah so this is the op this is the fi final uh, result of our big okay okay i think i come to the end of this presentation okay if you desire to use this uh, grasshopper 
uh, definition of script you can go to the link below this video to download it okay I okay, hope that uh, this uh, video has been useful to you. Okay, see you around. Bye.